SPQI is the new miniatures game from Warlord Games. In this video, we're going to flip through the 196 page A4 softback rulebook, which is available to purchase on its own or as part of the Clash of Heroes box starter set. To read a complete playthrough of the rules and our assessment of the game, see the August issue of Wargames Illustrated magazine, WI382, and read our SPQR rules showcase. The introduction begins with the usual fare about what miniature wargaming is all about and a note on historical accuracy, in which the author pitches the rules, mostly historical but with a good dollop of style from Spartacus and 300. SPQR is equipment light and only requires 15 to 40 figures per side, a tape measure and a dozen or so six sided dice. As outlined in the models section, figures should, preferably, be based singly. Minions and hero types are also explained here, with minions making up units, for example Roman legionaries or Celtic warriors, and heroes being single models. The characteristic page shows a breakdown of the stats for the models and units, which include the usual tropes for move, melee, bravery, i.e. morale, and wounds, i.e. hits, etc. The game turn page introduces us to the Dice of Fate, which basically means you dice each turn to see who goes first. The game proceeds in an I go you go fashion, with each player performing two actions with each of his units, before play passes to his or her opposite number. The next section covers the different actions that may be performed during a turn including moving, shooting, melee and special actions. Offensive actions, i.e. shooting or melee, proceed by throwing a dice for each model shooting or in base to base with an opponent. A 6 is required for a hit and modifiers are applied for equipment. Armour plays a part by blocking successful hits, but anything that gets through reduces the target's wounds by 1. As it states in the opening line on page 14, you have now read everything you need to play SPQR. It really is that simple. So what's the next 182 pages you might ask? Well let's take a look. Troubling Gaul is an introductory scenario pitting invading Romans against a local Gallic tribe, designed to ease players into the basic rules. And we are introduced here to the stats for our first minions. Somewhat inevitably, we then come to our advanced rules, which include heroic challenges, charging into combat, fighting with two weapons, falling over, hit and run units, i.e. skirmishes, knockdowns, which covers knocking over heroes, how heroes can lead a unit of minions, stunning an opponent model, and a one page long list of special rules for weapons, like Smasher, which is described as, this weapon is so heavy and brutal when swung with force that it is impossible to stop. A Smasher weapon cannot be parried by any means. The advanced rules section is rounded off on page 20, before what is actually more detailed advanced rules for using the phalanx something that the designers were clearly keen to bring to the tabletop for those of us wanting to get that phalanx feeling in our SPQR games. The equipment section ties different weapons up with different advanced rules. For example, a club has the Smasher special rule, before going on to discuss the effect of different armour, e.g. a helmet effectively provides the wearing model with a saving throw of 6. Equipment is rounded out on the next page, with details on the advantages of things like having a horn in your warband, and it's a measure of the type of rules we are looking at that seemingly standard wargaming rules like cavalry are dealt with under equipment, e.g. a horse is an item of equipment for your model. In the Heroes and Minions section, greater coverage is given to those two troop types and we are introduced to experience, through which players can develop their hero statistics via expanded gameplay, a la role playing games or Frostgrave etc. This side of the gameplay comes to the fore in campaigns. Here players are given rules for creating and developing their warband before leading them through a series of linked scenarios and campaign games. Speaking of scenarios, 
These begin here and we are provided with six multi-period, multi-warband scenarios which are outlined in Warlord's typically impressive clear style. Incidentally, Livestock Raid is the game we played for the rule showcase in WI382. To quote the opening line of the Talents section, Talents are special abilities learned by heroes that give them a vital edge in battle. This is another section of the rules that dovetails with the character progression aspect of the game. As a hero progresses through battles or campaigns, he gains new talents. Talents are arranged in trees, like the two here, Twin Blade of Hades and Voice of God, with heroes acquiring the second and third talent as they progress along the tree. We're now getting into the section of the book which elsewhere might be called the Army List. In SPQR, it's creating a warband. Taking Athenians as an example of the formula, you can see we have some history including a very nice map, followed by the specific characteristics of the warband, beginning with the hero and proceeding through the different minion units like cavalrymen, hoplite and archer. The lists are concluded with some historical heroes. Then we have something which I don't recall seeing in any other rule set, some scenarios specific to that warband. Beyond the Athenians, a further 12 warband lists are presented, including Britons, Caesar's legions, Sparta, Persia and more, concluding with mercenaries, which sees troops drawn from nations not seen elsewhere, like Balearic slingers and Numidian cavalrymen. This army list section is a total of 137 pages, that's 70% of the total book, and includes 39 scenarios. An obvious appeal for players who like their rule books, army list and scenario heavy. The final page of the book is given over to a rules reference sheet. Rather than a review, we hope this flip through has given you a clear idea of what's included in the SPQR rulebook and whether you want to splash out £20 slash $32 on the book. For more on the game, search SPQR on the Wargames Illustrated website and YouTube pages. This video has been produced by WI Prime. WI Prime is Wargames Illustrated Magazine's online members club. As a WI Prime member, you get access to all Wargames Illustrated videos before anyone else. We'll keep you posted on what's new via the Primetime News Bulletin delivered to your inbox every Friday. If you are not a WI Prime member, you're missing out on loads of benefits, including access to the Wargames Illustrated Vault, freebies, discount vouchers, PDFs of the latest magazine, and more. Find out more about WI Prime by following the link.